I predict in journalism in five or ten years we'll still be having panels like this. Um, but I also think that ultimately things will be fine. Um, because partially because you guys, well, I hope that you didn't enter journalism to make money because you won't. Um, no one, very few people get rich, at, you know, being a journalist. It's like the NBA. But that doesn't mean you don't want to play ball. Uh, I think that uh, I always make the comparison to punk rock, which is that uh, people always just want to play. And yes, your favorite band may start selling out stadiums and produce crappy music, but there's always going to be someone out there who's just hungry to make music that they like. And I bet right now in this audience there are people that if I offered them a scoop, you just want the scoop. You wouldn't care about where you got paid or who, who paid you, um, which might be a problem. Uh, but I think that when people are hungry for news, people who enter journalism are hungry to discover things and want to know things that other people don't. And that is pretty priceless. Um, I will add on the funding angle, I sort of see a path that neither of you have mentioned, well, maybe if you took the analogies or took the, the things that you've mentioned in a little bit further. Um, covering the campaign was really enlightening in a lot of ways, and one of them was the amount of work that's done by opposition research for journalists um, that basically, basically package up a story for you, like with pictures, an outline, talking points, and deliver it to your doorstep. Politico is kind of built on that, actually. Um, and I, I, I sort of can see a future where they would give up the, the fiction that there are reporters involved. Uh, <laughs> well, and the, the reporters would be the people who are working for the candidates. Um, you would be a journal, you, you might have a different name, but that's reporting. I mean, whoever discovered, you know, that uh, John McCain has seven homes, that was reporting. I don't think it was a reporter that did it. Um, I'm actually pretty sure it wasn't. Um, the, opposition, uh, the opposition research staff on the uh, Obama campaign was fantastic, and they talked to me every day. Now they don't talk to me so much. <laughs> well, now they're in the White House. Um, and I don't know if that's hopeful or, or not hopeful, but I guess if you think about things just in terms of whether or not the information will be out there, and there will be people consuming it, and there will be, there'll be a desire for it, that I'm pretty sure won't go away. And so good luck to you. Comrade. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> Onward. Onward. <laughs>